I'm grateful I'm still alive. I'm grateful I'm still got majority of my physical needs back. I can still use my arms. I can still use my legs in a ways that other people in my situation might not be able to. So it's made me be a lot more thankful for what I do have now. So my name's Amir, I'm 19, and my condition is neurofibromatosis type 1. In effect in my life with changing my future of, whether it's from my social aspect of meeting friends going out in the community, or even looking for things like jobs, it's, it's now impacted me in a way, so if I wanted to get into marketing, for example, I'd have to do something that's either physically I can do in a certain workspace or I have to work, work from home, which is something I've thought about. But then I lose the social aspect of being in the community, meeting new people and trying to make either new friends or new colleagues. I think the way I do a lot of things is different. Like cooking now is a lot more different. Either I have to rely on support or have to use other facilities like air fryers or just having to use like an oven and then not cook it as either the way I wanted to cook it and sort of just improvise. Before the operation, I was able to do a lot of more physical things as in one which is the main thing is walk. I think two is take part in things like PE with my school and go on things like hikes, go on a lot of more physical activities than what I can do now. Mainly my friends and family that have still supported me through everything. And then it's also I've still got my, like my games, my music that keep me occupied. The things like YouTube which keep me, either when I'm on the low, they can help bring my mood up a lot of the time. I think the main thing, if, you, if you, either you are or someone in a similar situation, find something that brings your mood up, something that makes you smile and sort of benefit of that. I, th I think with my friends, I knew them before my operation, so I've known them for seven, eight years. So I think I'm still treated the same. We still have band, we still meet up when we can. I think that bond still hasn't gone anywhere, but I feel like they were the ones still st stuck by my side, even after the circumstances that happened. So I think I'm glad that they're still there and they still treat me as a very good friend. I feel like one thing they should understand is there's always support somewhere out there, whether that's through guardians, friends, families, or through the soldier care system. There is always support there. And there are charities that can help support, support you or even fund you if that, if that needs to be the situation to sort of help you get through what you need to get through or to just to be there for you.